The red crab is the most abundant of the 14 species of land crabs on the island, with an estimated 120 million inhabitants. They will have to cross treacherous terrain, traffic, the risk of dehydration, and the rocky, battered shores. The males lead the way and are joined by the females, but they will not mate until they reach the breeding terraces by the shoreline. That sounds dangerous. What do they do the rest of the year? Most of the year, the red crabs live in their burrows inland. The deep soil of the tall rainforest provides for adequate moisture retention, which is vital to the crab's survival. The burrows consist of a single entrance tunnel leading down to a chamber. Living solitary lives, each burrow houses only one crab as they will fight off any intruders. They use their powerful claws to excavate these burrows. Their caverns protect them from the intense tropical sun, while they provide an essential service to the forest by recycling nutrients and aerating the soil. Almost every square meter of the forest floor has a crab living underneath. They mostly feed off the abundant vegetation, but they will also dine on snails, birds, and even other crabs if necessary. Are there other species of crabs on the island? Yes, there are 14 species of land crabs and 160 more around the island waters. The red crabs are a decent size. Their shell can measure up to 12 centimeters. It is a rounded shell that encloses their lungs and gills. They mature and reach full size in three to four years and can live over 10 years. Crabs are members of the arthropod family, the same as insects and spiders. They have an exoskeleton and jointed limbs. Most crab legs are designed to move up and down rather than forwards, which is why they often walk sideways. Although most crabs spend a lot of time in water, the Christmas Island red crab and their close neighbors, the robber crabs, would both drown if submerged for too long. <laughs>